Mac Kids 101 here today. Um, this is Xcode Lesson 2. So right here I have my um, Xcode project. We started in Xcode Lesson 1 called Hello Taco. Right now we've just designed the interface and it looks like this. So first of all, to start putting in code, we go to Action, Add, New File, then under Coco, Objective-C Class. Then we click Next, and then we type the file name. I'm going to call it Code, and we have to leave the .m there. And then, um, yeah. So it'll come out somewhere in some folder. So you just want to click it and drag it into, say, classes. So you want to click and drag it into classes. And then you want to click code.h and just start editing it. And I'll just double click it to bring this up. Then code.h, we want to type the following code IB outlet. And I'll make this get bigger, and I'll put this code in the description. So, um, right here, I'll just, um, IB outlet space, um, NS text field. And don't even try to guess the capitalization on this space. Star, and then I'll type, um, let's just call it main text field. Then have a semicolon. And then, so that's, and then we hit enter. Do another IB outlet space ns text field space star and then um, we're gonna call this name label and then have uh, let me colon okay and now under the curly brace on the line before the at end um, we type dash space open parenthesis IB action once again I will point out that all this code is in the description and then close parenthesis and then I'm gonna say um, button click colon and then another open parenthesis ID close parenthesis and then I'm gonna type sender then we put a semicolon and then we press Apple S to save okay and I'll close that so now I've typed that code in code.h that's just build and go so still the same so now we want to go up to hello taco Open the main menu.xib again. And um, on our window, first of all, we want to go back into the library, find the thing that looks like a little blue box called NS object. Drag that into the window with all the files in it. And then in the attributes inspector, we click the little I information thing. And then we set the class to be the name of the class we made. I called it code. Now we save that hit enter and now first of all we click control and keep on holding control and drag it up to here and we're gonna click main text field then hold can click hold control and drag it over this label that says name in it and let go and we're going to call it name label so we click name label and then we click the go button hold control drag it down to code let go and then click button click Okay, so now we've tied in all the code and we are officially done with interface building. Now let's edit code.m. And in here, we want to type dash space open parenthesis IB action close parenthesis button click just the same name as the other one colon open, um, open parenthesis ID close parenthesis sender semicolon or no semicolon. Then we hit enter. Then we do an open curly brace. Then we hit enter. Then we do a closed curly brace. Then in between those curly braces, I made another line in between those curly braces. Um, so what we're going to do in here is we're going to type open bracket. Okay. Name label space um, set string value colon open parenthesis open bracket main text field space um, string value close bracket close um, parenthesis close bracket again semicolon and then yeah so now we can save all lots of file save now it's build and go.
right here. I'll type my name is Dave. Hit go. And it says my name is Dave. I type Alex Nickel. And it says hello Alex Nickel. So this is effectively useless, but it's cool. We could also go into products folder, grab hello world.app, copy that by pressing Apple or Command C, click desktop, Command V to paste. Right here, it's on my desktop. This is the final application. So now we can send this to anyone we want. And um, so this is the application. So that's how to make a simple Hello World application. Um, so thank you for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.